Paul in Elmwood Park, you're on ESPN 1000. What do you think, Paul? Hey, so, Black, um, I just want to specifically kind of direct this at you because I called in in the past uh, towards the end of the season, and I remember you're so stuck on this whole week to week, we, we, we got to win, we got to win, I want to win, I want to win. Yeah. And so now we're in a situation where, um, you know, we might get a boatload of picks from Indianapolis and still be able to draft the guy we want anyway in Jalen Carter. So my question to you, Black, is yeah. now yeah. – now that you're out of that mindset of that whole week to week mentality and you could kind of take a step back and breathe and you're looking at it, what would you have rather had? The, the potential that we have now to trade and get all these picks from Indy or would you have rather, I don't know, beat the Packers and gotten a pointless win? And been stuck at, I don't know, pick three, pick four. Yeah, I mean, my, my whole thought, Paul, was it wasn't just one game. I think if they could have won four, Four games, which they were close in doing Why? so. I think that that would have been more beneficial. Uh, yes, for draft conversation, the fact that they have the number one pick now is beneficial to move back and get more assets. I would have preferred to see a little bit more development, a little bit more success on the field. That's just my preference. So taking a step back and having a deep breath and entering the offseason, I still stand by the idea that you can learn something from winning. And, and, and blowing those games late – I don't think was beneficial. I get that now heading into the draft, you get more assets. I would have preferred to see my quarterback win some games at the end in the contest that they were close last season. Well, so, you know, when you take a look at history, um, especially recent history, I mean, you know, winning did Trubisky a lot of good, right? That 12 and four season really, really taught him how to, how to keep on winning after that, huh? No, but Paul, it's not because of the defense. Team, it's, it's the team and it's the talent, no, exactly. But, and it's, this isn't just draft talk. Paul, this is talk for the future, Paul, guys. No, no, We're no. amping the Paul, team up. But Paul, Paul, but when, when those teams with Trubisky, going into those drafts, how many holes did they have to fill? How many needs did they have on defense? They had none because that defense was one of the best. It was the best in the NFL. So I would tell you, for Chris, not speaking for Chris, but speaking for Adam Abdallah here, that uh, if you win four to five more games, it also means you have less holes to fill on this team because your offensive line is playing really well. And maybe that's a unit you can keep together and maybe only add one offensive lineman to. Maybe your defensive line is playing better, so you don't need an entirely new defensive line. Maybe no. Chase Claypool. Well, it is. If you are if you have four or five well, more no, wins. No, that's a smoke screen, Abdallah. No, it means that your team is better. There's still the same guys out there. It means that you're still the same guys out there. It means that your team is better to play. Players are better than the ones – like if Velas Jones didn't muff a couple punts and he was like a legit wide receiver, they would have won a few more games. And they could have been like, oh, well, now we don't need three wide receivers. We only need one wide receiver this year. Like it's a trickle-down system where if, if, if you have a team that's won four to five more games, it means that their talent is that much better. You know, I don't know. I just take a look at it through history. I'm like, I remember uh, with the 06 Bears, um, Nate Basher had like eight interceptions. When you go back and look at that, it's all due to defensive line pressure. These guys are getting pressure on the quarterback, ball's coming out sloppy, and Nate Basher's just kind of there. Does that mean he's a great corner because he got his eight interceptions? No, he proved out over time exactly what he is, and that's what you would have gotten here too. These guys are what they are. Like, it, just because you would have – gotten lucky per se and, and maybe pulled off a win at the end of a game or something it doesn't change the talent and, and the um and the skill that these guys have i mean we need an overhaul period the problem with the trubisky teams is they they have thought they had no holes because they went 12 and 4 however they misjudged this team they overrated it and i don't want to well, do that they, i'm they so knew, glad they knew where the quarterback couldn't at. play yeah, that, they overrated the one position you know they, they knew well, they knew I'd say they overrated a couple positions but signing Tariq Cohen like they thought they had more oh, yeah, him I mean, than they did they, they, they made a ton of bad moves we I mean that. we could go through it and pick it apart but you know so I just, wanted, I just wanted here. to remind you though Black that you know I've been saying this is a, for me this is paradise this is exactly where I wanted the Bears to be Listen, and well, I mean, if, if that's what you want if you like losing that's that's no, for you I, this, then enjoy what I by all means but this I'm, year. No, I'm that's telling just you what I wanted that I didn't change my opinion because I still think there could have been value in winning some football games last year no, I'm, I'm kind of with the model. Like, like next year, the, the patience is gone. Like next year, we need to we need to go, and we need to sit there and win these close games. Well, it's not only go; you got to make the playoffs. And no, the year after, they showed you, you early on when they started Bowl. losing close games, when they started losing these close games, like against Minnesota in Week Five, against Washington in Week Six, you saw that they sat there and, and you know they tried to keep pace with the Cowboys, and at least we made them put up 40 points to beat us. You saw there was. 
hope and flashes, but you saw this team giving it up early, and you knew this wasn't going to go anywhere. What's the point of sitting here having, I don't know, six wins right now? Like, that, that just seems dumb to me. Okay. And it's done. All right. Well, hey, hey, thank you guys for taking my call. Appreciate your time as always. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you'll be hearing from me again. Cool.